Hey, I'm back one more time before I go to bed. This video is going to be called God Don't Lie. Revisions do. Well, God doesn't lie. Revisions do. How about that? Let's be proper in English. Okay. So first, so first of all, so I got my message. Bible I've had a long time. I got my New King James Version. I got my NASB. I'm going to compare it to you. Show you rather what it says in um, Deuteronomy 4, Proverbs 30, and Revelation 22. So here we go. Starting first with the message Bible. by Eugene Peterson. Okay. Okay, so now Deuteronomy 4 2, it said, uh, let's see here. Don't add a word to what I command you, and don't remove a word from it. Keep the commands of God your God that I command and that I am commanding you. Okay. So let's go to Proverbs 30. And 5 and 6. Verse 5 and 6. Okay. The believer replied, replied, Every promise of God proves true. He protects everyone who runs to him for help. So don't second guess him. What's that got to do with anything? Second guess. Well, you shouldn't second guess God. What is a, does it? Huh? What? He might take you to task and show up your lies. What? What does that have to do with the word God? Close, but no cigar. I know this is this is a, a thought for thought translation. I know, but um, no. <laughs> anyway, thought for thought translations are quite, might be breaking it down to simple English or whatever. Today's English, but it's, it's not the word of God. <clears throat> Revelation 22 18 to 19. It says, If you add to give the words of this prophecy, God will add to your life the disasters written in this book. If you subtract from the words of the book of this prophecy, God, subtract your, God will subtract your part from the tree of life and the holy city that are written in this book. It's falling along with the other versions. The NIV, the, the um, ESV, the, um, what was the other one? The New Living Translation. That's what it's falling along with. Quote, way off. You lie about one thing or revise one thing to, to against the Word of God, you revise the whole thing. Can't y'all see that? Can't can people can't can't they see that? Okay, now let's go to the ASV. Okay, I believe this is the second edition here. I think it is by Zondervan, the ASV, NASV. Sorry, not ASV, NASV, NASB. Same thing. Okay, so let's go to. Deuteronomy 4, chapter two, verse 2. It says, You shall not add to the word which I am commanding you, nor take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. Very close. And said any other way, and that would have been likely just the same as what the King James Version says, but, I mean, it's in another wording, but as we read on, I mean, I don't really... It's just a different wording, but the King James says it better, even though it's close, very close, but no cigar. Now, let's go to Proverbs 30, 5 and 6. Every word of God is tested. Every word of God is tested. What's that got to do with pure? Nothing. Close, but no cigar. I mean, way off. Hey, now you're going to win a little goldfish on this one okay he is a shield to those who take refuge in him do not add to his words or he will reprove you reprove you 
and you will be found a liar. Proved a liar, rather. I've got it stuck in my head, so I just this one sit down. Or he will reprove you, and you will be proved a liar. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Revelation 22, 18. I testify to everyone who hears the words of this of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to them, God will add to them the plagues which are written in this book. Verse 19. If anyone takes away from the words of this book of this prophecy, the book of this prophecy, God will take away his part from the tree of life and from the holy city which are written in this book. Another tree of life book. What does the tree of life have to do with it? And that's what that's the fruit we get off to, for healing the nations. Your name is in the book of life, or not in the book of life. That's the whole point. King James Version says it. The authorized version says it. Okay. So one more. Now we've got the new King James Version. Just because it says it's new don't mean does not mean that it's the true King James. Just because it's a King, new King James Version and it's very close to what the King James Version is and says does not make it a, a, um, another example or uh, something alternative, a better alternative or a similar alternative or a a co-bible so to speak with the King James because it's not okay so I'm going to read this Deuteronomy Deuteronomy sorry 4 2 and it says you shall not add to the word which I command you nor take from it that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you okay now very close. I think that's about the same thing the King James Version says. Um, anyway. Okay. okay. Now, let's go to Proverbs 30, 5 and 6. Every word of God is pure. King James Version says that. Authorized Version says that. He is a shield to those who put their trust in Him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you, and you be found a liar. I think it says reprove. Alright. Just a little change. A little 11. 11 is the whole lump. Now check this one out. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. It says... For I testify to everyone who hears the words of this uh, words of the prophecy of this book. If anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Okay. Now, see, this is Book of Life. This is a New King James Version. It's very close, very close, but still, no cigar. How do you say it in sound? Close for no cigar. Yeah, okay. All right, let me get my uh, beloved King James here. I'll do a little quick comparison. How many minutes are in here? Well, nine minutes. Okay, let's take a minute. Let's see here, King James Version, Revelation 22, let's see, let's compare this last one, since that was, that's the main one that we have a problem with, as far as the, um, the tree of life and the book of life and things of that nature. Okay, alright, I'm in Jude, alright, yeah, Revelation. 22. Alright, so. He says, If any man take away from the words of the book of his prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. And the, the New King James Version says, His part from the book of life. 
That doesn't make sense. His part from what is this part in the book of life? Okay, King James Version says his part out of the book of life. Hmm. Okay. And out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Let's see. And New King James Version has it as his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from, and I want to add to, the from is on the, when you get down there almost to the end of the verse, it says, out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. That's what the King James has. Now, the New King James Version has the same thing, and from the things which are written in this book. Same thing as King James, from the things which are written in this book. It's the same thing. And both of them are in the um, italics, or excuse me, parentheses, you know, like the kind of, you know what I mean? You know what it is, italics, parentheses, you know, the words in there added. So, um, it's the same thing. But just because it's close doesn't mean it's a seagull. You got to hit it right on the bullseye. You got to hit the bullseye when you're translating God's word, which actually you don't need to be messing with God's word in the first place because everything that is in the word of God and you know in the Bible has um, you know you got the scripture references, you got parallel passages and things like that. So really, there's no need to have revisions because everything in Scripture is a witness of in itself. Scripture testifies of Scripture. Scriptural things discern scriptural things. Second Corinthians, excuse me, First Corinthians chapter two: spiritual is spiritual, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. It it all testifies of itself. Scripture is replete. And showing of itself that it is true because of the power of the Holy Spirit by the men, the God used the prophets and the disciples and the actual apostles to write his word. So, you know, God used these holy men. God used them to speak by his spirit. And whenever men come and change it from the book of life to the tree of life, Dummy, hello. This isn't correct. It's changing the word of God. God's word doesn't lie. Men lie. Revivers lie. God cannot lie. Men who change his word, they lie. Revisions lie. Okay. So, hey, have a great one. God bless you. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.